one of the comments that I've been getting a lot more often lately, especially because my video on Casey Neistat and his style gained some traffic and has gotten a lot of views. And as a result of that, it's gotten a lot of comments. But one of the more common comments that I've gotten throughout the years, but then especially on that video is, why can't people just wear what they want? Uh, basically, why do you have to think about this stuff so much? Why do you have to try to read everything into it? Nobody thinks about it this hard. What, what is it that Tanner, you can't think that people just wear what they want to? And uh, it's a comment and a question that's based off of a false premise. It's based off of the idea that somehow thinking about what you like and understanding what you like runs counter to actually liking something, uh, which is silly and really it's, it's pretty stupid. Just because you like something and you want to be able to understand what it is that you like about it, repeat it and replicate it, uh, it doesn't just have to be this this emotional response. I mean, take for example anybody who wants to get good at anything. You know, if you really really like your favorite dish, and uh, you decide that that's something that you want to eat, most of the time you figure out what's in that dish. You know, what what uh, genre of food it is. Is it Mexican? Is it Italian? Is it American? Uh, what are the ingredients that are in it? How is it cooked? What kind of spices and sauces are used? And that doesn't solely this idea of the fact that you really like this dish, especially because somebody who's a little bit more deliberate and may think that they want to expand on those things, it may just be one or two ingredients of that particular dish that they like, and they decide that they're going to apply it to other dishes and see if that they can see if they can make those other dishes even better. Um, or a musician, for example, or even you don't even have to be a musician, just somebody who even enjoys listening to music. You have a song that comes on. Uh, on the radio, you've never heard it before, and somehow it resonates with you. You get kind of an emotional response to it. And what do you do? You don't just sit around and hope that you hear that song again. You do some research. You try to figure out who the group is, what the record label is, what the genre of music is. Maybe they're performing sometime near you, and you can actually go see this group perform live. So this idea that somehow seeking to understand is counter to the ability to just enjoy something is silly and stupid and it's really a waste of your time. Because if you really do enjoy something, you really do like something, then why would you not try to understand it so you can replicate it or you can build upon it? Which is exactly the whole purpose of masculine style. Am I trying to teach you guys to understand why men care about the way we dress, what it communicates, uh, all the different principles when it comes to color and contrast, uh, understanding your proportions, telling your story, learning all these different things. It's not that I want it to be this cold, calculated, analytical approach to something that most people just kind of emotionally respond to. I want it to be more than that. I want you to take the emotional response that you have with your clothing. The fact that when you're wearing the right outfit, you feel like a million bucks and you carry yourself differently. People respond to you differently. And it really does enhance all these other aspects of your life. I wanna take that and be able to help you learn how to break it down and then apply it to every single item that you have in your closet so that every single day you wake up and you can feel like a million bucks. You can feel like you've got this, this market cornered that all these other things in your life can go wrong, but at least you'll know that your style is something that works to your advantage. I use that all the time. I have a lot of things in my life that get really frustrating. And I know that on days when it feels like everything is going, going south, everything is going sour, on those days, at least when I know that I look good, it still gives me some sense of control. It still gives me some sense of self-respect and some sense of power when otherwise I may... I may spend an entire day feeling powerless. And so for someone to tell me that I don't continue to maintain a an emotional relationship with my appearance, that I don't just wear things because I like them, just because I've sought to actually understand why I like them, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And anytime you catch yourself thinking that in any regard, stop yourself in the middle of the thought and realize that that's just lazy language. It's lazy, emotion-based language, and it's the kind of way that children think. This idea that, well, I just like it because I like it. That's stupid. Adults don't think like that. Men don't think like that. 
If you want to continue to have something improve and benefit your life, figure out the ways in which it does, discover why you like it, and then apply those same principles to the other variables that you can. So if you like an outfit, figure out what it is that you like about it, figure out why you feel good in it, why people treat you better when you're wearing it, and then take those same principles and apply it to your whole wardrobe. It doesn't make you like it any less. In fact, it makes you like it even more. And you get all the benefits of it, of not only having that emotional response, but also having the logical, thought out, deliberate approach to it. So you get the best of both worlds. Easy.